Revelation 2804, from the 8th of July 1943. Passing on what comes from above. Whose spirit is enlightened, he should let his light shine and pass on the gifts of the Spirit to those whom God leads in his way. For this is active neighborly love, which distributes to the needy. But spiritual hardship is even worse than earthly hardship, spiritual hardship burdens the soul because it is offered in the midst of earthly goods, whereas earthly hardship can be remedied as soon as the human being is concerned about the well-being of his soul. The commandment of neighborly love extends to all hardship which the human being can remedy through his help. But anyone who offers spiritually is grateful for every gift which reduces his hardship, and therefore spiritual gifts should be given to him which, however, can only be distributed by a person who is spiritually enlightened himself, who thus constantly receives knowledge so that he can offer it to his fellow human beings. The will to instruct them makes him able to receive knowledge, for his state will become enlightened to the same extent as he requires spiritual gifts for his fellow human beings. What is required of him he will receive beforehand. He will be taught in order to be able to teach again. And thus, he will also carefully ensure that he only spreads the pure truth, for God, as the eternal truth wants the truth to be conveyed to people who desire it, and thus he will not allow the light which flows brightly and clearly from the heavens to earth to be obscured. It protects the human being from misrepresentations of what is imparted to him from above, that is, once the Spirit of God is effective in the human being he will also be guided correctly in speech and thought by all beings which are in the light and look after the human being on earth. And thus, if he intends to convey the truth to his fellow human beings he will be protected from erroneous thinking, he will be able to teach at any time and to anyone. It will always correspond to God's will because God's spirit expresses itself through this person, because the human being cannot conduct spiritual conversations of his own accord if he is not impelled to do so by the spirit from God, providing the human being is willing to serve God and spread the truth. Only this will is decisive as to whether the human being stands in truth, whether he himself is of enlightened spirit and thus able to bring the truth to people and only the person who stands in truth himself will speak with conviction and stand up for the truth, for he is rich in spiritual knowledge which will not let him remain inactive. Divine truth is strength from God which constantly stimulates activity. Therefore, anyone who has the truth will not be silent, he has to speak because the strength from God impels him to do so, just as a light has to shine without fail. Thus its glow illuminates the whole surroundings. But never again will a truth-loving person be able to advocate something with conviction which does not correspond to the truth, for he will be prevented from doing so by the Spirit from God. If he speaks, he speaks the truth, because he cannot speak anything other than what the Spirit from God imparts to him and because his thinking is also guided by the Spirit of God and his heart always and constantly urges him to transfer the gifts of the Spirit to his fellow human beings. Amen.